Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Today, I will be talking about how I wished I had seen this much sooner. Never be friends with someone who doesn't understand you. They will always get the wrong ideas. Never try to fix them. It will never work out. Trust me. Leave them in the dust where they belong. When you walk out of my life, make sure you stay out. You chose to block me. You left. Now stay gone and do not come back. I gave you too many chances. I gave you the benefit of the doubt each time I was wrong. I am now tired of everything. You no longer exist to me. You keep on coming back. You tell me you learned and soul surds. You can't walk the walk and you definitely cannot talk it either. I finally see this. Now you are dead to me again. My heart broke years ago from the very beginning. Now I finally understand where that pain came from. You always had the wrong ideas about me. You always misread me and got everything wrong. I tried and tried to make things right, to end the conflict and the confusion. Alas, I finally know that was a waste of time. You continue to block me and run away from me instead of talking to me. You just get mad at me and leave my life over and over again. You no longer exist to me. You are dead to me. Yet you keep on coming back telling me you sold searched and you changed. But please, you can't change. Nothing will ever change. You still have the wrong impressions about me. You proved to me that will never go away. Now stay out of my life and don't come back. You chose to leave. Now stay gone. To this very day, you still have all the wrong impressions about me. You proved to me that will never go away. I won't let you back into my life. Not after this. You broke my heart about the same thing. Back then, I didn't know that is where the pain came from. This time, I felt nothing and no longer cared. I stopped caring when you repeatedly walk away from me and returned once in a blue moon. You say I matter to you and yet you act like this. I spit in your face. After all, you no longer exist to me. I no longer believe anything you tell me. You claim to be on 5D, 
Bitch, please, you can't walk the walk, and you can't talk it either. I finally see your true colors. You are a demon. You lie. You control. You manipulate. You're selfish. You always misread me. Need I go on? I want nothing to do with you. You are dead to me. You no longer exist to me. Once again, you blocked me without hesitation. This time, the block came from me getting mad at him for not being understanding. Um, I mean sensitive. You told me, "Don't get mad when someone is being mean to me. Just get over it. You have nerves of steel, bitch. You don't know me." I told him. You didn't have to say it like that. Fuck you. He demands I apologize, so I did. He continued to carry on. I said sorry. Cease. He gets even more upset. Tells me I was forced to apologize when I said the word cease after I said that. He acted like I apologized twice. And I didn't. He wanted me to change the subject. Instead, I left the conversation. I needed to go off. I didn't walk. I didn't want to talk to him anymore. Not after he got under my skin and offended me. I told him I was running out of energy. Then I logged off. He sends two messages, but deletes them before he blocked me. He did this once before, and it is really immature, especially when I'm sleeping and can't do anything. And in comment, bitch, you don't know how I work. Now here is more information that I forgot to add. This is not the first time he got something wrong. He once told me I was smarter than to talk with this one person. I was smarter than that. I dismissed his words because I already knew he got the wrong ideas already. Long story short, I was talking about a higher concept, and he confused it with the race war of blacks versus whites. To this day, he refuses to acknowledge what I was really referring to. I even spelled it out for him. For a minute, he accepted it, but later he went back to his initial thought. Boy, that really pissed me off. He always was like that, though. Talked he talked down to me like some child who doesn't know anything. He acted like I was a thirty. Thinker, a sheep, a 3D person, said, "I was smarter than that. Rise up!" And he was always mad that I was not on his level. Turned out, I surpassed his level. Now he is intimidated by me. It is obvious. He wrote two things he said to me that still bugs the hell out of me. When you get on a plane, please do not scream and act like a child because you're scared. When women stare at you when you're with me or with a guy, do not let them bother you. As you can see, he is a narcissist, narcissistic person. Narcissism.
it took me years to finally see he always gets the wrong ideas, and I cannot change his mind no matter what I do. He always goes back to his initial thoughts, even if they are wrong, and not even true. Do not make the same mistakes I did. When you see a person who is struggling to understand you, leave this person immediately. It is not worth the effort in trying to change their mind. It took me years to finally see this person for what he truly is. If only I had seen it much sooner. What was I thinking back then? I, to this day, I do not know, because it was all fabricated. None of it was the truth. None of it was fact, because everything he said either made no sense or he was wrong. Now he is non-existent to me again. I know I said this multiple times. This what happens when you go months without talking to it, to each other, only to come back and try again for a day or three. Then you walk out again. It took over seven years to finally be done with this guy. Next time he comes around, I am not going to respond or even read what he has to say. He can't change my mind this time. He can't do anything or say anything to me that will make. Any difference? He proved to me once again he is a real demon soul. He fooled me many times. Now my eyes are fully open, and I see clearly for once. I said this once before, but this time. Is the time that it is real. He can try to fool me again, but it will no longer work. This conversation that I'm having makes everything come to light. How I this person explains it better than I myself could. Ego was to blame. Ego drove him to misread me, along along with multiple other things. Ego is to blame. Who, 
Him is a list of things we never did. He never asked me anything. He simply demanded that I demanded things from me of me. What is funny is he would be worrying about certain things. Example, one time he was talking about how women would be staring at me if I was with him or with another guy. He told me, do not let those tales get to you. To this day, I am like, why even mention this for? Why would I care if people stare at me with who I am with? Why are you talking down to me like I don't know anything? We never had conversations about being thankful for each other. Instead, we kept putting each other down, fighting, arguing, etc. Turns out it's all from one seed. He has all the wrong ideas. He makes no sense. This is what I see when I look back. This is what happens when you blindly date someone. We often joked about that. We did not take the time to get to know each other. He tried it this time, but once again, it ended in the same way as usual. No surprises there. And what do I mean? He has the wrong idea. Again. Ego prevents you from seeing past it. 